Crafters and Paper Artisans. It's Chandra with Stockton Stuff. I am here, as promised, to do my freebies from Simply Crafty SVG. And I just um, wanted to show you what I had in my in my files to cut and I think one of them is new and the others they have been there for a while and um, so the first one is called the lots of heart treat cups and you see it has to, uh, um, it's two layers it's the cup and then it's like a band that has the heart cutouts and I used uh, my embossed uh, Michael's paper and then I used um, a piece uh, this heart one here from the pink paisley um, lucky us that I have and you know when I cut it out like oh this cup is really small but I have nine Hershey's kisses and two of those hearts in here so it's not too bad for a nice little treat to leave on somebody's desk or some something like that so that's called the lots of heart treat cup so that's one the next thing I did was the Valentine candy box, and I believe that's this one. And I really thought this was adorable, although it doesn't hold a lot. But again, if I was doing like class treats for um, Valentine's, this would be perfect. I used the, um, the um, what do you call those, conversation hearts paper out of this pad. And I just thought it was super cute. Now, if this little box is, is what it's attached to. And the only thing, of course, that I could get in there was um, this little box of nerds. I have some Starbursts and some other things I probably could have gotten in, but not a lot. So that one is a very small treat. So um, I just wanted to show you that. But that, again, would be a really cute class Valentine type of gift. The next one is the, the self-closing box, and um, this one, I don't know if I didn't put it together right or, or what, but it, I, it's, I'm not sure. It doesn't give me a lot of opening, and that might be my fault that I didn't do something right. Um, again, I was putting these together without directions. And so, um, but I do like the way it looks, so I may try to see if I can research and find the directions because it is really cute. I could have done more of a contrasting paper besides the white, but I was using scraps that I was already using from that pad. So I think that's cute. I would put a little ribbon here on the top, um, but again, it doesn't have a lot of space and it's not really easy to open or like I said, I either did something wrong. But there it is. It is this. It is called the Heart Self Closing Box. So really cute. And then the next one I did was the. Um, oh, I think I skipped one. This one is called the. Which one is this? I I, know, I labeled them the Heart Treat Box. That's what this one's called. And this one is called the Valentine Candy Box. So let me correct that. Valentine Candy Box. And this is the heart treat box because it's shaped like a heart and has three layers of hearts. So I used um, this stripe six by out of this um, pad, and then these other two yellows are from a six by six that I have, and I didn't take it out for the video. Sorry about that. So I just tossed some of my stuff in there to see if. Um, you know what the fit would be like I could get more in there and probably would put that in like a, a clear treat bag and tie a bow around it and that was I thought that was cute too and that was really super easy to make actually all of these were even this one was easy to make which is probably why it's not made right <laughs> then the um, really hard one that I had was this um, beating heart box now the box itself wasn't hard it was trying to figure out what was going on with this beating heart now I love it now that it's done I wish I had not a used a 110 with a white core so if I make it over I will use um, one that doesn't have a white core because you know when you fold, do a lot of folding you can see the white through and I don't I don't particularly like that it's a it's a park lane from um, Joanne so I always have to try to watch and make sure I don't get white core 
because I do a lot of boxes. But I really like it. It is super cute. And I I did not I did eventually go to the tutorial, but not at the beginning. So I ended up having to cut three pieces over. So I just was making the box and going on about my business and there's two panels but I put one here and one on the bottom which I like that too but it didn't need one there it should have been on the side so I had to cut another one for the side and then I had to cut the the um first layer of the heart again because I didn't um I didn't I didn't fix my score lines properly in the SVG file before I cut so that wasn't working so I had to recut it and then there's um, a panel inside here that backs up so you don't see the layers of the heart inside and I put the layer the panel here because I didn't want to I didn't want people to see my fold so Actually, I'm, if I did it again, I would probably still just cut two panels because it just kind of hides some things. And I like that finished look better. But I really do like this box. And there is tons of space in there. Um, it was a lot of pieces. See, I used two different printed pages and a solid. Um, actually, it ended up being, it ended up taking a 12 by 12 and a half of a 12 by 12 for this, uh, for the solid. And then um, I didn't use a whole piece of the of either of the printed. I just wanted a contrast with the um, black. And I didn't use I, this is pink, but it's like a darker pink because some some of my gifts I do give to boys, and I hadn't decided which one was going to wear. Actually, I realized that I forgot one box from Simply Crafty SVGs, and it is called the Swirl Heart Box, and I do like this one too. It was super easy to make. Um, score lines didn't creasing, and then um, I just added a heart using the uh, that light printed heart that came in this pack, and I in hindsight I would have maybe layered that in pink um, just to give it a little more color but I do like the size and how it turned out so I just wanted to make sure I added that so I actually have six boxes from Simply Crafty. Thanks for watching I do have some miscellaneous ones that I will put up uh, before the end of the week thanks for watching Take tones.com.